Hello guys, few hours ago, I did a video on Jamba. Jamba is a groundbreaking large language model, which is a combination of state space models like Mamba and Transformers open model. This is a truly groundbreaking research. I have gone into way more detail in my channel on my first video and I will drop the link in video's description. And here you can find this Jamba video on my channel would so you buy i would highly suggest you go through it and see what jamba is but for the purpose of this video i am going to show you some of the code through which you can fine tune this model this code is from alexander doria mano romero and few other people from x and other social media platforms the thing is that this is a huge model and it would require at least 80 GPU of VRAM in order to run this on one GPU. I don't have that. So that is why I decided to show you the code chunk through which you can fine tune this model. This is a base model or a pre-trained model. So it's not fine tuned, but you have to fine tune it in on your own custom data set to glean some meaningful responses. This is extremely cool new model from AI21 Labs, Jamba and it is not even a transformer jamba words come from the swahili language which is an african language and it means to celebrate so it is sort of a celebration of both state space models and transformer models as i said it's a hybrid model that combines mamba architecture and transformer layers and mixture of expert techniques and it's a first production grade mamba based model it is a 52 billion moe with 12 billion parameters active during inference. Due to it being MAMA based, it has a much better throughput and efficiency. It has three times throughput on long context compared to mixed roll. It also has a 256K context window. Out of those 140K context can be achieved on a single GPU, but that has to have at least 80 GB of VRAM. Performance wise, it is better than mixed roll. Again, it is open weight, so very generous license and hats off to AI21 Labs. The license is Apache 2. Really exciting. This is apparently the first time someone has scaled Mamba upward from 3 billion to 52 billion, which is amazing. Okay, enough theory. Now, hats off to all of those people which I mentioned um, Mano Romero, Alexander Doria, who created this fine tuning script. So, let me take you uh, to my Visual Studio code where I will be showing you the code line by line. Now, first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have installed uh, Transformers, DRL, Dataset, PEFT, and Accelerate libraries and make sure that you have at least one GPU of 80 GB of VRAM. So, what it means is that you should at least have a 100 GPU. Now, we will be using SFT or supervised fine training in order to fine tune this. And SFT is a training technique where a pre-trained model is further trained on a specific task with labeled data to adapt it to the new tasks. Okay, so as you can see in this code, after installing all of these uh, modules with pip, you need to import them. So we are importing data set, um, function from the data set module. We are also importing the SFT trainer from the TRL module. Then we are importing the LoRa config class from the PEFT module and PEFT is parameter, parameter efficient fine tuning and LoRa is the low rack adaptation through which we can run the LLMs with improved memory efficiency. Then we are also importing multiple classes from the transformer modules including tokenizer, causal LM and so on and so forth. And then we are creating an instance of the bits and bytes class with specified parameter again we are creating the tokenizer of jamba as you can see here in this code and then we are loading the jamba model with the flash attention inside it also this is a model instance for causal language modeling for a pre-trained model name jamba with all of this configuration and then we are loading the data set we are simply getting this english code from appirate and then these are all the uh, usual suspects in terms of training arguments. 
Let me go to into more bit more detail from line number 24 where training arguments are. So first, this is output directory. This is where uh, the training results, the model checkpoints and logs will be saved. Then this uh, num train epochs is one which defines the number of training epochs or in other words, the number of times the entire data set will be passed through the model during training. Then we are specifying per device train batch size which sets a batch size for each training device indicating the number of samples processed in parallel during training on each device. And then we are specifying the directory uh, for where training logs such as loss and evaluation metrics will be saved. And then logging steps are 10 which determines the frequency at which lo training logs will be written with logs recorded every 10 steps in this case. Lastly, the learning rate is this which sets the initial learning rate for optimizer determining the step size used to update model parameters during the training. And then we are specifying the LoRa configuration which is a low rank adaptation configuration and in that we have this um, embed tokens which typically refers to the embedding layer responsible for converting input token into dense representation. Then we have this xproj which usually corresponds to the projection layer applied to the input embedding to transform them into models hidden size dimension. Then we have inproj which refers to the projection layer applied to the input during self attention computation within the model. And then we have outproj which represents the projection layer applied to the model's output to map it to the desired output dimension. These modules are fundamental components of the neural network architecture and they target them for adaptation, allow for fine tuning or even optimization of specific parts of the model during the training. Now once that's done, we are simply calling our SFT trainer which is supervised fine tuning trainer and then passing it all the configuration which we have defined our, above with our training data set and also the text field which is code and then we are simply calling the trainer once and this will take some time once you run it and it depends upon your data set and of course your resources and once that's done you will have your fine-tuned Jamba model how good is that and you can of course fine-tune it on any model so this is where I'm very excited to see you know once this is released and I hope that they release it on some community hardware so that mere models like us would be able to also fine tune it on our GPUs and once that's done it would be really good to see how this blend of state space model plus transformer model work because transformers models are great but they have some limitations when it comes to context window and we have different techniques like flash attention and stuff to you know hack into those limitations but still whereas mamba has some sort of uh, problem where it doesn't have any kv cache which is a good feature in transformer so mamba tends to forget but when you combine both of transformer and state space i'm more than sure great things will happen so very excited about this project and of course this fine tuning and stay tuned and if you are lucky enough to have the resources to fine tune at this Jamba, please try out this code. Let me know how you go. And if you um, can, you like, I can, uh, you know, also contribute to that project if you have the access. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.